Hey, this is letter eight, I believe, I believe. Um, but um, this is like how how the Holy Spirit is using me and like seeing it in real time. Um, so I'm at work, I'm dealing, I'm dealing tables and whatnot, and I've got some I've got some players that are just kind of aggravating and they're just like they're just mm, they're really getting me in a mood and then like one negative thought leads to another and I'm like and I'm starting to like spiral a little bit like starting to just go down a, a rabbit hole I'm um, starting to like hate people that I really shouldn't hate and I'm like I'm just like starting to doubt and like whatever like but you know how you know how negative mindsets work obviously um and this is the wild thing this is the wild thing that I felt tonight was like I felt that more and more and I just I prayed about it and it was so again it was a prayer that I'm in the middle of dealing it's not like I'm on my hands and knees and like God take this away from me but it's just like God use this strength and rebuke literally get rid of these thoughts that the devil's trying to like just bear into my head um I was like take them because I don't want them anywhere near me um and this is where I love how the Holy Spirit works because he doesn't work in the way that you think he's going to work, but he still works uh, better than what you can think of. So I was just hoping for those negative thoughts to go away. That would have been a win in my book. But instead, um, instead when I went on break, um, I'm sitting next to this friend I have at work and um, and we're kind of just chatting and whatnot and I'm... I, I opened up my Bible app because I'm going through Samuel right now. He goes, "Whoa, bro, what you, what you, what you reading?" <laughs> he's like, "Well, what are you reading?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm reading, uh, I'm reading the Bible. I'm going through Samuel right now." He's like, "Why you chuckle when you say that?" I was like, "Because it's slightly embarrassing." Um, I was like, "I never thought I'd be the guy that's just like opening his Bible on break and uh, and just reading." He goes, "Nah, you're good. You're good." He's like, "You know, you probably don't even like. You probably don't even drink." I was like, "Nah, dude, I don't drink." I'm, I've given that up along with many other things. He goes, yeah, because you had to. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, there's a big difference. I wanted to. I wanted to give up these things for Christ and find out where he's teaching me. And I was like, I've even given up um, social media and whatnot. Um, and I was like, and that's why I've been able to focus more time in reading the word. And he goes, yeah, but you still have Snapchat. And I was like, yeah, I still have it. And But I was like, but at the same time, if... It's not a distraction right now, but if it becomes a distraction, I'm willing to give that up too. I'm willing to give up anything that God wants me to do. He goes, wow, but dude, that's kind of inspiring. He's like, I've, uh, th like, and I just love talking, um, to him. And he was like, uh, yeah, dude, I've given up a lot for God. He just, he ain't listening. Um, and I was like, but what are you actually giving up? Are you, are you giving up? that is um are you giving up something for your kid or are you giving up something for god he goes dude it's just so hard in life he's like it feels like every time i'm trying to get above water it's just like i get cut down and cut down and cut down um and i was like dude i was like as much as as corny as this is i was like give it to god literally give it to god and he's like yeah but i got peace and i was like no 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 you don't like I hate to like burst your bubble, but I know the kind of peace you're talking about and it's not peace, it's okayness. That's all that it is. You're just, you've come to terms that life sucks and this is the life that you have and you just have to live it. And I was like, that's not peace. That's just, that's a rut, that's settling. I was like, the peace that I have now, I was like, cause dude, I've like, I've gone through, I've gone through crap, I've gone through a lot. And it's like, why do you think I'm so happy the way that I am? Is it because of my own just like joy and I'm just like, oh, I'm so glad I'm going through this struggle. No, no, it's because I'm giving the suffering to the Lord along with the wants and the desires I have. Um, he goes, damn, okay, that's that's kind of inspiring. Um, and it was just like super like unapologetic. I was just like sharing, sharing the word of God. And it was just like in the most natural conversation ever. It wasn't like trying to shove it down somebody's throat. It was just, it was so good and I don't think I could do that by just my flesh I don't think I could do that by trying to like coerce somebody into wanting to come to church or do anything and I and I invited him to church he goes I don't know man I'll like I used to be a church go but that's not my thing anymore I was like well I'll keep inviting you until you come and I was like dude it really is life-changing um I was like even if I gotta come and pick you guys up because his car is broken right now I was like I'll do it because 
um, I was like, it's worth it. Like, it's worth it. And I want to see lives change. I was like, if you want to bring you and your son, I was like, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. Um, but, uh, like, I, I know I went back upstairs and he goes, keep reading the Bible. I was like, oh, dude, I won't stop. Oh, but it's like even getting encouragement from people that aren't Christians is like, is wild because it's, it's, it's God working in what, like mysterious ways that I didn't expect my, it just, it fills me with so much joy. It makes me want to like figure out any possible way I can serve God. And it's, it's truly fulfilling. It's truly fulfilling. And I, I just love it. Anywho, that was, that was it. Um prayer obviously um dear god continue continue to take my heart take my mouth take my um mindset and use it for your good whether it's in the break room at work whether it's um at a bible study at a friend's house whether whatever it's on the road and i'm praising you whatever it is please use me as a vessel for your will and your and your doing um i'm your servant and i cannot wait to see you what you can do with me um, for for your plan. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Um, adios, I'll see you tomorrow. It's like 6 a.m. I just got off of work. I'm tired, obviously, but I'm, I'm still kind of like really happy. So it's, I love seeing God work in real time. It's wild, it's wild. Um, yeah, it totally changed my night around. It was, it was good. Anywho, bye, adios, I'll get home safe, I'm sure, maybe, but we'll see. <laughs>